The linear correlation coefficient r measures the strength and direction of a relationship between two variables. The correlation coefficient r can take on any value between and including minus 1 to positive 1. When r is equal to negative 1, there is perfect negative correlation. When r equals 0, there is no correlation, and when r equals positive 1, there is a perfect positive correlation. In grade 12, you use the correlation coefficient formula r equals b, where b is the gradient of the least squares regression line times the standard deviation of x divided by the standard deviation of y. It is much easier to calculate the value of the correlation coefficient on a calculator where you simply follow the procedure to calculate the regression equation and go on to find r. It is very important to note that correlation does not imply causation. Just because two variables are correlated does not mean that they are casually linked. So if A and B are correlated, that does not mean A causes B or vice versa. This is a common mistake made by many people and one you must be aware of. For example, ice cream sales and shark attacks are correlated. They both increase as the temperature goes up. This does not mean that the sale of ice cream is somehow causing more shark attacks. Instead, a simpler explanation is the warmer it is, the more likely people are to buy ice cream and the more likely people are to go to the beach as well, thus increasing the likelihood of a shark attack. Example 1. Calculating the correlation coefficient using a calculator. 14 learners attended a geometry training course spread over 12 Saturdays. Learners wrote a geometry test at the end of the course. One learner was absent for the test. The number of Saturdays attended and the mark as a percentage each learner obtained for the test are shown in the table. 1.1. Calculate the equation of the least squares regression line using your calculator. 1.2. Calculate the correlation coefficient. 1.3. Comment on the strength of the relationship between the variables. 1.4. The learner who was absent for the test attended the course on eight Saturdays. Predict the mark this learner would have scored for the test. We're going to use the Casio FX82ZA plus calculator to work out the equation of the regression line. Make sure you learn the steps that are specific to your scientific calculator. Step 1. Get your calculator ready. Switch on the calculator. Press the mode button and then select STAT by pressing option 2. The following screen will appear. Select 2 the A plus BX option for linear regression. Your screen will look like this. Step 2. Enter the data. Press 96 and then the equals button to enter the first mark under X. Then enter the other values in the same way. For the X variable, the geometry marks in the order in which they are given in the data set. Then move the cursor across and up and enter 12 under Y, the number of Saturdays opposite 96 in the X column. Continue to enter the other Y values in order so that they pair off correctly with the corresponding X values. Then press the AC button. The screen clears, but the data remains stored. Now press Shift 1 to get the stats computation screen shown and the values of the unknown variables for your regression line. Choose Regression by selecting 5, the option that shows the first three letters of the word regression. Step 3. Getting regression values from the calculator. Select option 1 and then equals to get the value of the y-intercept. A is equal to 22,262 and so on. 
rounded off to one decimal place, A equals 22,3. Finally, to get the slope B, use the following key sequence. Shift, 1, 5, 2, and equals. The calculator gives B equals 5,9, rounding up to one decimal place. The equation of the line of regression is thus y hat equals 5,9x plus 22,3. For 1.2, get the value of the correlation coefficient from your calculator. Use the same steps as in 1.1 to calculate the equation of the line of regression, and then press Shift 1 to get the stats computation screen shown. Choose regression by pressing 5. Press 3 and equals to get the value of R, the correlation coefficient. The value of R is 0, 0,92. For 1.3, looking at the value of R, which is close to positive 1, we can say that there is a strong positive linear correlation between the test marks and the number of Saturday classes attended. For 1.4, we use the least squares regression line to make a prediction about the test scores for the absent learner. Since this learner attended 8 Saturday lessons, substitute 8 for x in the regression equation and calculate the predicted percentage obtained. We can predict a mark of 69,46 for the learner who only attended 8 of the 12 lessons.